Hi everyone, it's Doreen again. So I wanted to make another vlog just to say hi and to share some things. I thought it would be fun. I really just wanted to say hello to my friend in New York and make a message for her. Um, so today some exciting things happened. I was able to get tickets to James Bay. I just discovered him. I forget, I think, oh, I went to a restaurant in Los Angeles and the song was so good that like a total idiot, I was just standing there with my cell phone like up to the ceiling trying to get the song to be recognized by Siri. So it was actually the song called Let It Go by James Bay. I guess he's British and he's going to be performing at the Grammys. He's going to be in Los Angeles in April. So I signed up for his newsletter, but a couple days before that I was just going through all my junk mail and I saw that he was being, um, I guess all his tickets were going through AXS, not Ticketmaster, so you have to favorite him there, that way you can be involved in like what his concert tours are and everything. So I actually got tickets to his Tuesday, April 19th, 8.30 show at the theater at the Ace Hotel. So I'm really excited about that. I was actually scared because when I was buying the tickets, it took me three tries. Like I was in the waiting room. That's really cool about AXS. Like you can log in, there's a waiting room, and then when it's your turn, they'll bring you into like where you buy your seats and everything. But at least you kind of feel as though like you're queued up and in order. And if you sign up a few minutes early before the public sale, then you can already be in the waiting room. So you feel like you have a head start. So I did that and I had two window browsers going just because sometimes I feel like the other ones go a lot faster even though you opened it like second. So I had tickets and then I was buying them and in the process of buying them like nothing really happened. Like when I went to go pay for it, it kind of just froze. So I had to start all over again. Third time was the charm. It totally worked. Um, the act, The convenience fee was a little high. I feel like it's usually like a couple bucks. Um, I got the $30 tickets and the convenience fee was $10.50. So it was a third of the price, but you know what? I don't really care. I really want to go, so I'm excited about that. Um, also, if you're not from America or you're just not familiar with American culture, right now it is Girl Scout season where they sell their Girl Scout cookies. They only do this once a year. It's typically $4 a box. It's now $5, it seems, so I bought a few. I'm going to send it to my sister in Japan. I thought it would be a nice treat for her. So I got five boxes, and I wanted to share which ones those were. So I first got the Thin Mints, which are actually really good. These are probably my favorite. And it says they're crisp wafers covered in chocolatey coating made with natural oil of peppermint. So... This is the Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. And then there's also something called Tagalongs, which are crispy cookies layered with peanut butter and covered with a chocolatey coating. And then there's something called Dosi Dos, which I'm not really sure how they get some of these names. They're completely random. These are crunchy oatmeal sandwich cookies with creamy peanut butter filling. There's something called Samoas. I think that's how you pronounce it. I feel like I should know. <laughs> and these are crisp cookies coated in caramel, sprinkled with toasted coconut, and striped with dark chocolatey coating. I don't really like coconut, but, you know, they're for my sister. And then last, I got these Savannah Smiles. And these are crisp, zesty lemon wedge cookies dusted with powdered sugar. So, that's what's going on right now. And then I got two boxes from Amazon. I ordered some things a couple days ago for my sister's birthday, but also for me for this YouTube channel. So I figured we could open them together and see what they are, just for a little mini unboxing. Um, so the first one came in some sort of envelope. I'm just going to tear this open. Oh, okay. So this is the gift that I got my sister as part of her birthday present. She asked for these. There's some sort of magnetic cooking spoons. 
I don't know. She wanted them, so I bought them. So that's that. And then there was like this huge Amazon box. Sometimes it's really funny. I'll order something like really small and then it'll be like mostly stuffing. So let's see what's in this box. Um, from the sound of it, I have a feeling it's those bean boozo jelly beans, which, oops, oops. Um, I wanted to do a, I guess, jelly bean challenge. Is that what it's called? So let's hope. Oh, okay. It's uh, two things. So my sister has kids. So for their birthday, she wanted some, I don't know, learning to read toys. So that's that. And then the other thing, like I thought, it was the... So I guess when someone calls you while you're taping, the phone stops recording. So um, I was talking about the Bean Boozled game. So this is for a YouTube food challenge that I'm going to do with my boyfriend. Bean Boozled is a game where there's a bunch of jelly beans that look the same but taste different. And some of them taste really good and some of them taste really bad. So this is the third edition. Um, it says two new flavors, so I guess that means that um, the other flavors are exactly the same. So I'm going to do this with my boyfriend at some point later on, so please look out for that channel. I'm sorry, that video. And then I forgot to show you my receipt for the James Bay concert, so here it is. I'm very excited. So thank you again for watching my channel. Comment, like it, subscribe, let me know what you want to see, whether it's in Los Angeles and it's a food, restaurant, museum, hiking, some sort of concert thing. I'll try to do it or try to at least know what you're interested in watching. Um, otherwise, I will see you again for the next video. Okay, bye.